Hello and welcome back. As you can see, I'm doing a bit of maintenance on my mini milling machine. And in today's video, I'm going to replace this drawbar that is currently installed on this machine. The drawbar is the part that goes through the spindle. So imagine the spindle is here. It then threads into the tool that you're trying to mount the machine. And on the top, you put a washer and a nut, and then it tightens everything together. And this taper gets locked within the taper of the spindle. The current drawbar setup has two issues that I would like to address. The first problem is that this boring bar is crooked. So it bends here for about a degree or half a degree. I can't really show it on video, you're just gonna have to trust me. So I want to replace that because I'm imagining it will also draw in this taper crooked somehow. And I would just like to negate that problem. And the second problem I'm gonna show you on the milling machine itself. So this is a spindle, as you can probably tell. The tool goes in from the bottom, then the threaded rod from the top, then on here you can already see that it turns around quite a bit. At least I hope you can see that. On top a washer and a nut and this just draws everything together. The problem here is that this has a lot of play in here. So I would like to make a bushing that sits inside of this bore and that has a hole in the middle to accept this threaded rod. So to replace the boring bar, I'm going to cut a section off of this threaded rod and this is M12. I also find this to be a bit short, so I'm going to cut me about another 10 millimeters more. And to cut this, I'm going to use the angle grinder. So here are the two parts of comparison. This one obviously has a very nasty edge and I can't use it as it is. So I'm going to chuck it in the lathe and just give it a quick facing and a nice chamfer. So here are the two parts in comparison. You can see mine is a bit longer just because I like to have a bit more length to play with. There is a cap on the spindle itself that caps it off and there is a another like 20 millimeters of space in there, so that's not an issue. This is the factory edge and my edge. And as you can hopefully tell, it threads in nicely. And most importantly, it's straight. Now let's go and make the bushing. So first I'm gonna face off this part, clean it up. Then I'm gonna turn the shoulder that's gonna sit inside the bore. And afterwards I'm gonna to have to drill out the 12 millimeter hole on the inside. Okay, I'm going to quickly re-grind this. I'm not getting great results with this, so I think I'm going to switch to carbide and see if that helps. So much better. So I just had a whole bunch of fun making aluminum chips that I entirely forgot to measure and overshot my dimensions by like 5 millimeters. So I'm going to start again. This is a learning process. So the camera turned off, I don't know what this last thing is you saw. I turned down this shoulder to 19.9 millimeters because the bore, as far as I can measure, is 20, but I can't really test fit it. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tailstock to drill a 12 millimeter hole in this using a wood cutting drill bit. Because I don't have one for metal, but this is aluminium, so that should work. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> that worked far better than I expected. Um, 
I only need about this much, so that'll do. And this also fits. Has a bit too much wiggle for my liking. Well, you know, what can you do? It is what it is. Now the only thing left to do is to part it off, clean up the other sides, and be done. And here are the parts after a bit of cleanup. You can see this actually turned out quite nicely. The finish on the inside could be a bit better. I think next time I'll experiment with the boring bar, but overall I am quite happy. Let's see how they fit on the machine. So we're once again on the top of the machine. And first let's tie the bush in. And that fits quite nicely. There is a very slight amount of wiggle there, but it is, I would say, under a tenth of a millimeter, and therefore more than good enough for me. Now I'm going to put an end mill on the bottom. This goes nice and straight through here. So I can throw it into the end mill. It is now screwed in. I can put the washer on top. I don't have a new washer, that would have been nice. But for now, this old one will do. And then the nuts. And I can tighten that up. And it looks like it runs nice and true. At least a lot better than before. As you may have seen in the beginning, uh, the fuse box is kind of falling apart, so I'm redoing this right now. And I don't want to turn it on. So you're just going to have to believe me that this is an improvement. Thank you for watching. I had a lot of fun making this video. If you found it useful or interesting, let me know down below. Until next time, have a great day.